Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard. And we have some great photos from the Ma uh, Magic and Walnut. It's at Magic and Walnut on Twitter. Uh, check, definitely go give them a follow. But uh, Disney had a town hall on yesterday, actually. Uh, obviously via like telecommunity or like via Zoom. They had a town hall with the city of Anaheim to go over the updated concept art, the renderings for the... Um, the uh, DVC tower that is they're proposing to build on, of course, Disneyland Resort property. And as you see, um, things have definitely changed. The overall image, like it, it has really, uh, the 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 it has really changed the the color scheme. Um, it went from like this Art Deco kind of like modern type of oldish. Like a, a like a nice new take on the Disney other Disney hotel towers, um, to something like that, but kind of different. I feel like it got some value engineering, which of course value engineering is um, when they have to slash the budget to it's cheaper materials. But it's got I feel like you got a bit cheaper material, but it also got this jutting. I don't know if it's a second tower, I'll call it a second tower, a jutting extension, I can call it, as you can see behind the trees, which go into a little bit more <laughs> in this model. So you see, it's much better seen in this model. There's a regular Disneyland Hotel Towers, and there's this the DVC Tower, which is definitely slimmer, but has this jutting extension, which from the top, I'm going to say, may not look too flattering. At least maybe, maybe that's just because it's the model, but maybe it's done that way to create like terraces, maybe you'll be able to, residents will be able to go out, um, and like those that could be some patio potentially. Um, we'll see more detailed renderings should come as the project gets farther along in construction. But yeah, so that's how it's gonna look right now. <laughs> but you can see now, definitely I'd say, God, the less like, uh, I don't know, the, I can't find the exact word to describe it, but definitely feels like it's cheaper than the other renderings. Oh, I think I like those gold colors before. But, I mean, this is, it still looks pretty good. Definitely um, much more modern than the current Disneyland hotels. Here is the, the site plan for the hotel. You see there's the main tower and on to the right of there, and then the jutting extension, and then there's the hidden pool um, and ex auxiliary functions like pool house and stuff and maybe a gym by the pool. Um, it's not known if the pool will be just for vacation club members only, which I assume it will be, because it's kind of hidden, kind of in that, in the site, uh, hidden behind the tower. <laughs> oh, hotel residents don't look like they would be, be even be able to see it. Here's yet another view, and I just kind of show how far the extension comes on out behind those, uh, the the trees now you're looking for I don't know which street that is if someone knows that which street by that is by the Zen Hotel definitely comment your thoughts below I just can't think of it right now but just another perspective on what the extension is going to look like and uh, oh there it is <laughs> Walnut Street so yeah here's just another side and uh, some digital using SketchUp most likely um, digital uh, an artist running of what the setbacks will look like on Walnut Street. So this is if you're in a car and you're driving um, on Walnut Street, this is what you'll be able to see. This is, this will be the view. And as you take an in-depth uh, height, this is the height graph here. I'll show you the height of the tall things of the of the tower and the terraces. How it's going to terrace down. How the building will step down as it gets towards the street in a residential area because that is a single family residential zone to the other side on the other side of the street so <laughs> they definitely don't want to make it seem in too imposing and that's what I think that's what they added that step for also to add terraces for the residents I would assume some penthouse level or some upper level DVC units will get uh, access to those terraces that would be like again their balcony and just here's another side of <laughs> the computer model from, or the actual model from the, um, of the DVC tower, just again from the other side than what it was before. So, I don't, I don't, 
I like this. This is a matches. It's literally the, just about the exact same height as the current Disneyland hotels. And I hope this inspires them when they're done this to eventually demolish each hotel one by one and rebuild it. Maybe occupancy will be low due to the COVID-19 pandem pandemic for a couple of years and the, uh, the re recession this, this will cause. So maybe with low occupancy, it'll encourage them to at least demolish the one of the hotels and get started since they most likely won't be filled up. Or I would think they wouldn't be filled up, but who knows? They could be not, they could be pretty filled up if people just can afford it or really miss it. Who knows? But I still say, still say, demolish each one one by one and make it to match the modern aesthetic of the new DVC hotel. But comment your thoughts below. What do you guys think of this of these new concept art and renderings? I'd like to hear your thoughts. Also, are you a DVC member? Will you be staying or renting? How does it work? Um, you just, it's a timeshare, right? So I guess would you will you be buying one of these units when they open up? And let's say if they start construction this year, I say maybe two to three years, so 2022, 2023, this will be open. And what do you guys think of uh, of what this looks like? Comment your thoughts below. Subscribe for more theme park updates, including a video on when potentially downtown Disney can reopen that will be coming out in oh, 24 hours or less from then when this video comes out. As always, have a fantastic day.